Hi, this is Ed back again with another supporter video. Thank you to everybody on Patreon, Steam it and Subscribestar that support my channel. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If you want to see something different, of course, just let me know. But we're into another recent archaeological kind of mystery here, if you will. And I thought it was really interesting and thought I would share it here. So these are in regarding... Uh, recent photos that were sent to Bright Insight that they made a video about. It's quite a lengthy uh, video in itself, but of course you can check it out on their channel. It's their latest one. It's in regards in photos that were sent to them from a person that was a tourist in a temple called uh, Dendera there. Now, the tourists went to this temple and then paid the uh, tour guide a little bit of extra money in order to be taken to places within the temple that had not been seen before. And they had that uh, request answered amazingly with this very interesting little find, which may be the first breadcrumb to something far larger. Although it'll probably be years upon years until anybody actually hears about it. So this uh, temple is often called one of uh, Egypt's finest temples. You can see the location there on a map for reference purposes. Here is the outside of the temple itself. Here is the uh, front of the one side of the temple. As you can see there, a lot of uh, beautiful engravings and things of that nature. So a lot of uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics, if you actually look at them, a lot of them are painted. But what's Interesting about Dendera is a lot of them are actually engraved or reliefs. Now, I'm not saying you don't find those uh, in other places, obviously, but all of them seem to be of that quality in Dendera. It's why it's called one of the finest or most uh, beautiful temples in uh, ancient Egypt. So here's just another view there for reference purposes. So if you go on the inside, you're going to see things like this. Look at the amazing amount of reliefs. So obviously a relief itself is where something uh, comes out from the object because it's been carved around. Either that or it's been uh, pasted on there. You know, it's like something that's been built up like a plaster or something like that. But I mean, they're all over the place. Everywhere is a fine relief. It's coming off the stone itself. Here you can see some more of these columns. Okay, and you see them there. I mean, look at the artistry involved. You can see why it's often referenced as one of the finest examples of uh, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and artwork. Here you can see another view, more close up of the walls. And when you think of other uh, pyramids and things like that, you often see these reliefs. Uh, well, sorry, not reliefs, but just painted on. So you can run your hands down them and they're largely just smooth. Okay, so there's a different level that's gone into these here. So when this individual paid one of the uh, tourists, uh, the tour guides there to take them to somewhere different, they were taken into a different part of the temple itself. Here you can see the location, again, uh, right there. So in kind of, I guess, the uh, different part of the temple there. And it was a buried pillar. What does that mean? So if you look at this photo here, you can see that this is what they took a photo of and sent to Bright Insight, which just looks like something underneath these uh, stone blocks. Okay, they uncovered the stone blocks and they get got these things here. Why is that so interesting? You can see another view of it here. The reason why when these stone blocks were removed in a recent discovery, as the uh, the tour guide said, again, this is in a part of the temple where no one is allowed to go, and they paid extra money you know, on the side to get them here. The reason why this is so interesting is if you look at the sides of these rock form, they look like rock formations here. Those are pillars. That's what is so interesting about this particular find. Because what you're looking at is another level that's been completely buried of this entire temple. Okay, these are the tops of pillars. As you can see here, and all the sand and things, for some reason, has completely covered these pillars completely up. 
Here is another view here and you can see these are almost like flower shaped and classical signs of these types of pillars. Very interesting stuff because that means that there's a whole entire level below that has yet to be ex excavated and what is below there. So you might remember I did a video on the uh, uh, the uh, labyrinth of Egypt, the lost labyrinth of Egypt, which is a large thing, uh, you know, by Greek historians, Herodotus, and things like that have mentioned, they, they are by their own account, thousands of years ago said that they there was a labyrinth in Egypt. It was buried, they stated, okay? It was buried, uh, people saying it's buried beneath the sands of time, you can't, you know, it's it's hard to come across. It's only marked. Some people stay by this pyramid. But under there, there is supposed to be rooms and rooms of this, uh, of unknown objects, okay, and artworks and things like that. In fact, Herodotus went on about the fine engravings, the, the difference, the masterful nature of them. So it's interesting because the, and I'm not saying this is the location of the Lost Pyramid of Egypt, It'd be kind of a big stretch but what I'm saying is that it's interesting because that place is said to be buried as well and made Herodotus said of these all of these columns okay all of these columns that held up the ceiling okay in this massive underground chamber so you can see just a reference there this is actually a reference that people have draw, drawn up of the uh, lost uh, library sorry lost labyrinth uh, as Herodotus talks about in the ancient writings. Remember uh, that Homer's, uh, you know, the idea of Troy was supposed to be a myth as well until it was found. So here is just a mock uh, CGI. I think this is just a CGI uh, creation here, but I just wanted to show you in relation to uh, pillars. So obviously this isn't the location, uh, but if you can think about it with different types of pillars with those kind of flower tops, the same type you would see in the United States, you know, with these kind of, they've got these lines down and these other smaller columns roaming down and carved into the larger column, you see them would go up to the top. So if you can imagine if all those pillars were together and all this dirt surrounding it, what is underneath it? Who really knows? No one knows, actually, but I thought it was a very interesting thing, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, particular video into a recent uh, archaeolog archaeological, well, I wouldn't say it was a discovery because it's out of the clock, right? It's behind the shadows. I mean, they haven't even announced it, and maybe they never will, but it is something uh, very interesting there. So, of course, you can watch the longer Bright Insight video. It's just on their channel. It is their latest one, if you wish. I just thought I'd encapsulate it with my opinion in relation to the uh, the labyrinth itself of Herodotus and, and that kind of thing, which I've done a Patreon video in the past a long time ago, if you want to check that out, maybe a year or two ago, I think. In the meantime, thank you all for your support. Tomorrow's my day off, so I'll be back on my main channel day after tomorrow and of course I have more videos on Patreon, Subscribestar and uh, for my supporters over the next week. Hope you enjoyed this video. In the meantime, stay safe. I'll see you all later.